What's up you guys, No Confidence Gamer here, and today we're playing our next Let's Play, and now we're going to be playing Red Dead Redemption 1, and kind of in in um uh, preparation for Red Dead Redemption 2, which is going to be so lit, I'm so hyped for it, but I have some bad news, I had to skip the first cutscene because it had music in it, basically what we missed is it's at the time period, this one chick said we're going to be able to fly soon, and she was talking to a priest and he said no only angels are, so it kind of shows that we don't know much about technology, some um, uh, old lady said that we are going to be having having um, a new governor, someone's running for governor, and he's a hillbilly, so I'm sure we don't with that, because Rockstar likes to foreshadow things in their cutscenes, and then, um, uh, they were also talking about how savages, how we're, like, trying to settle them, which is actually, I'm pretty sure that's, like, historically correct for this time period. Now, I will have to skip the cup scene after this. I will give you, like, a brief summary. Um, then I won't skip any cutscenes, because this is a let's play for the channel, so let's get hyped, you guys. Let's go. So basically, this man in front of us, he's supposed to be our guide, our friend from Blackwater, which my character, John Marston, that's his name, immediately said, he's not my friends, they aren't my friends, which I think when we were in the first cutscene, we were like getting guided onto a train, which trains were huge in this time period, because I'm pretty sure those are like the new, like, in improved technology. So now let's, let's ride the horses. He's guiding us somewhere. Okay, accompany Jake to Fort... Me, sir. My, sir. I think it's my, sir. I'm not sure. Okay, well, this is interesting. It's kind of like GTA, but with, like, horses in the Wild Wild West. Um, this is interesting. This will be the first time I ever, like, I've played this scene. I tried live-streaming it before, but it just didn't turn out. That's right. Let's keep riding. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been yeah. abandoned for years Oops, now. Folks say it was what kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely. Maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. So soldiers you left the fort. I wonder why we're going. So what I are think you doing that's what up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like yeah, said, okay, so we're going to the fort. You ain't gonna find friend. many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old three to back to you. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so obviously I mean, these guys aren't really I ain't friends with us. Judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. We're in Armadillo, by the way. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Mm, okay. Land cream gravy they are. Not like thieves landing. Dang, those creepy, girls but... ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Oh, we're married. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Let's keep going. Yeah. You know what's interesting? Marshal, this is pretty I historically mean, accurate, because he said they left to get the gold rush, basically. Name? Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bus asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Keep it running. Okay, so we're obviously here kind of in secret. Or we have a secret. Interesting. Are we almost well, you there? Ain't very Jeez. Talkative, are you? No, no, we are I'm not. Just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. Yeah, leave us alone. We're perfectly fine the way we are. Jeez, this ride is long. It's kind of cool. Dang, I like the whole coyote. horse thing. What a waste of good meat. Not far Dang. now. You'll so there's obviously the a coyote part of the top of this hill. Oh, so we'll see the fort. We'll see the fort when we get to the top of this yeah. hill. Pretty yeah. dope. Pretty dope. Let's keep it running. Let's keep it going. Okay. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. Oh, okay. So this we're is probably we part, ways, part of friend. gang. You have yourself a good time. Yeah, he does not sound very <laughs> confident in that. Let's keep it going. Why don't we smile? <laughs> like, I'm sorry. But why don't we smile? That's a good question to ask at this point. Kind of cool for it. Hmm. 
The graphics are pretty good for a pretty old game. Bill! Oh, Bill must be the leader of this gang. Bill, I've come for you. Oh, maybe we're like a sheriff. Bill Williamson. You know, I'm pretty sure we're outlaws. Come out I know here enough right about now. this game. Go away now, coward. John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. Int Ooh, okay. You must think I was born yesterday. He's ready. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I'm oh. gonna try to save you. Maybe we're friends. <laughs> oh. Holy moly. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Ooh, who are they? Okay, this game's getting good. Well, you never tried it's to like save a movie. me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Maybe we've grown up. Bill, I implore you think about this. Implore? <laughs> Big word. You implore me? <laughs> You implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> when I said big, I meant like good. Well, that makes any sense. Things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. Oh, okay. So obviously he's a little You're power Dutch. hungry. And no more you. Okay, so obviously we're probably part of this gang. He kicked I, us out. Someone's trying to kill you. us. To go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive. So someone's next trying to time. kill us, him, and we're trying to basically well, say, "Let's go, let's get out of here," so they don't. Ooh, he saw me reach for my gun. <laughs> Poor gun. Ooh, okay. Wow, what a, what a, what a. Okay, bad word. Can't say it. Jeez. Ooh. We're just gonna be left for dead. Ooh, little. Someone's found us. Okay, hopefully they rescue us. Just leave us there on the side of the road. That'd be awful. <laughs> like on a real, if someone just, if they just left us there. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, okay. So, they're obviously rescuing me. I was questioning why she was, like, gardening with the gun. Then I realized, then, like... Ooh, we got an achievement. Then I realized maybe she was looking for the people that shot me, John Marston, at this point. Ooh. Okay, I like... Okay, I, this is weird. I like the little loading mechanism. New friends, old problems. Let's get right into this. Okay. So, we're alive. Or half dead. Not sure. I think that was the lady, okay, in the well, first cutscene that I did out, pretty sure she was sitting in front of us. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? Not very good. I don't know the polite Had word. better days. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. Yeah. What were you doing? I was, oh, I was doing something stupid. You do not look well. well. you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. We've been sleeping for days? I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? He is I mean, was that it? Happy. Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? We're Did friends with the worst Mr. bandit in the county? Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I don't know. Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. Chance for what? Sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Oh, Bill Williamson must be what the leader of the gang that? that shot us. Dumb. Just like you. Thank wow, she is not complimentary. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna... Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Oh, well, okay, so now we're gonna fun, capture him. Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Okay. Course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later? Help me patrol the perimeter. 
You can earn back okay. some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. Wasted? Wow. For saving my life, I mean. See how much Next, we mean. Um, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Wow. He's a good speaker. Like, a good, like, he talks pretty, like, correct. It's pretty cool. Let's keep it going. Ooh, okay, obviously I'm not gonna shoot anybody, but it's cool that we kind of a little. I think we have a little revolver. Revolver. God, that took me a minute to say. Let's keep it going. Ooh, that's a nice house. She is the owner of the ranch, but dang, that's a, that's a nice house. Kind of looks like a the house you burnt down is Trevor in GTA a little bit. It's about time I started paying back that fifteen dollars. Look how we're just punching in the air. The horses are saddled up over here. Okay, maybe she'll give us a little tour of the ranch. I like how like the people walk and like you run into them. It's like up. Oh, okay. It's kind of funny. Oh, thank you. My current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Come on then, I'll show you around the property. Keep it going. Okay, so you hold A to match the speed. I'm pretty sure we learned that earlier when we were riding with that one guy that said Black Rodder. Black Water hired him. I am the worst horse rider in the world. Jeez Louise. We're just supposed to follow Bonnie. I think that's her name. Barley, Barney. Gosh. Bonnie McFarlane. Could be wrong. To your right is the general store. You won't find Beautiful it in high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Yeah, that's the way we do. Nice, nice ranch. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? <laughs> it's dope. I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine Pretty corral. Pretty big. You've stolen more horses than you've broken. Okay, you thank you. We have idea. stolen a lot of horses because we're a bandit or a gangster. Erase. I'm not sure. Yeah. Come on, boy. Let's go. Howdy. Let's That's go. The train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. In it's cool, like how historically people, accurate right this kind of game is, is because it, they said the change soldiers left to go find gold. I'm pretty sure this might better. take place during the gold rush. Pretty dope. I like games that are kind of cool like that. That's kind of why I'm excited for the new Call of Duty World War II. I'm hoping that, like, campaign is pretty accurate, because I might play that, because that looks pretty dope. I'm going to actually play that, like, on YouTube. That's the barn over there. The Paul barn. Paul himself when I was just a little girl. Dang. He must have hey. must have worked hard. Jeez Louise. By the way, I'm sorry if and it sounds a little off. I'm going to try to correct Let's that in editing. But, um, uh, I can only do so much. No complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Okay, let's hitch the horse. Dang, this game is realistic. It's kind of cool. They must have done some research for this. I really like her house. It looks pretty dope. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse. She's seems nice. To take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. She's actually really nice. I thought this would be all about, like, earning the money we owe her, but no, she's just kind of chilling. She's chill. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Okay. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. I'm guessing Safari John Monster... Come, John Martz. Gosh really dang it. Okay, time. John. We're just going to call him John because for some reason I'm tongue-tied and can't pronounce it. his last name. Um, uh, he must be a good shot. I'm going to guess. Moving. I'm going to guess. This is a dangerous time of night. Actually, yeah. if I'm going to be shooting for him, then probably not. Let's go mount up the horse. Hope this is kind of like our horse for the whole game, so that would be pretty dope. I'm gonna, I think that would be kind of cool. That would be enjoyable. Let's keep it going. Let's go. Keep your eyes open 
And try not to get yourself shot again. Again, thanks. A company bunny. Okay, we got a rifle out. Thank you, uh, Mr. I'm not gonna use my handgun. I, I think this is a. Someone's along with me. I feel a lot it. happier now. I got a rifle. Well, <laughs> with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make. We should quite be a, a team. team. Bang. Jeez Louise, the writing. Look, those damn rabbits are at the crops again. Get down oh, they're the eating the, the crop. That's no good. Let's see that rifle. I want okay. Okay, I am not a good shot. I'm sorry. Nice shoot. Come on. Okay, and I'm not good with moving targets either. Jeez Louise, this is just not a good storm. This is a storm against us, you guys. Keep it going. Jeez Louise. Thank you, Let's keep it going. Looks like we'll be having rabbit stew tomorrow. Let's mount up and patrol the rest of the property. Let's go. Okay. We should keep moving. There's still a ways to go. Yeah. We're accompanying her now. It's kind of cool. We got a little tour of the ranch. That was pretty dope. This is kind of showing us the, the outskirts. If it's stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't huh. never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city. Become a lady of leisure. Maybe Look that's out. how the game will end. Maybe like... Maybe like we will like steal a bunch of money for her or something, and she will be able to come on. Ooh, let's get the guy up. Keep it going. The writing of this game is pretty cool. I really enjoy this. I'm really enjoying this game. I'm really excited for this let's play. Goodbye. Gosh, I am so bad at shooting. Oh, there we go. Got one. Come on. There we go. Okay, we got one. Let's go. Well, we got Good rid of the stuff. I just wish we'd saved all the chickens. Yeah. Let's go. I'll take you back to your room. Well, we're trying to save the chickens. Okay. Come on. Let's go back to our sleeping quarters. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe hmm. Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. Yeah. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Okay, let's go hedge our horse and let's call it a day. That'll be the end of this video. Hope you guys do all enjoy. Thanks Please do help, like and subscribe if you did. Marston. Wait. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Okay. So maybe we're hovering around the ranch and stuff. Good night, Miss McFarland. Okay, you guys. That'll be the end of this video. Hope you guys did all enjoy. Please like, subscribe if you did. We can save the game by sleeping. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.